question number 39 starts off by giving you a function. It defines what the function is, what it's equal to, and it asks you to find f of negative 3. So even before you know what the function is equal to, if I ask you to find f of negative 3, what it's really telling you to do, or what you're being asked to do, is to take the number negative 3, which is an x value, plug it into the function, and tell me what comes out as an answer. So the input is negative 3, and you're finding the output, which is f of negative 3. So let's go down to my paper, and let's look at the problem. Here we go. All right, let me get it in focus for you. All right, so here's the function. f of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 4, and what we're asked to do is to find f of negative 3. So what we're really being asked to do, in other words, to find f of negative 3, we're going to go to this rule. And every place we see an x, we're going to plug in negative 3. So we're going to take negative 3 and square it. That's this x value squared minus 7 times negative 3. We replace this x with negative 3. And then, of course, we get a plus 4. So f of negative 3 is equal to a negative 3 quantity squared minus 7 times negative 3 plus 4. Now we do the arithmetic. Negative 3 quantity squared is a positive 9. Negative 7 times negative 3 is a positive 21. And then we pick up a plus 4. So we have 9 plus 21 plus 4. We get 30 plus 4, which is 34. Therefore, f of negative 3 is equal to 34. And again, what this means, even though the final answer is 34, I want you to know what we did. What this means is when we plug negative 3 into this function, we get out the answer 34. Another way of saying this is when negative 3 goes in as a domain value, 34 comes out as the range value.